In today's video, I will be discussing the assumptions people have made about my natural hair. Number six will shock you. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Miss Lauren the 11. It has been a while, but I am back for a bit. <laughs> I'm back now, I am back. First off, let's just get into this bob. This is a synthetic wig. It was actually waist length. The ends were all ratted and tatted. And I just wanted something short and sleek. Anyway, so this is the start I've got today. There you go. Okay, let's just dive right into this video. I'm gonna be telling you six assumptions that people have made about my natural hair. And the first assumption, let's just go with the most popular is, I have good hair. Now, let's talk about the term good hair. Only up until recently, I've had pretty bad hair. <laughs> and what I mean by that is my hair was in a terrible state. My texture had changed, mainly at my roots. My hair wouldn't take in any products. My hair was puffy at the roots. Now, my hair was not considered to be good hair at this point, if you'd saw it in that moment. And the reason I say that is because good hair to me is healthy hair. The healthier your hair is, or having your hair at its healthiest, is the best you can get your hair. That's how you want your hair. So then in turn, all the others will flourish. The length retention, the moisture retention, but the healthiest hair is good hair. It doesn't matter if you're one type hair on the chart or four type hair on the chart. So the second assumption you guys make about, well not you guys, but that's been made about my natural hair is that my hair grows fast. Now, yes and no, to an extent, it depends. Depends on a variety of factors. First one being, as you may or may not know, genetics. My mum's hair grows super quick but it's because of what she does to her hair, which I don't necessarily do. I will get onto that in a minute. But genetics falls into it. My grandmother's hair was long. My sister's hair's growing fast now. I've told her how to treat her hair. My other sister, Jade, that you've met as well, her hair, Jade, like she's here. <laughs> her hair grows fast as well. Anyway, so as I'm saying, first of all, it is genetics. Number two, it's what you put into your body. I said it's more important than what you put on your hair. And the reason why I say that first is because you've got to work from the inside out make sure you're eating the right diet drinking lots of water exercise yes guys it really works and the reason i say that is because it was a couple of years ago where i was severely anemic and um, my hair the rate that my hair grew out diminished it was very very slow reason being iron is it's a sufficient mineral that our body needs and what iron does it helps oxygen pass through your body and create healthy red blood cells okay so not only does it help the oxygen flow through your body it also brings oxygen to your scalp now you need oxygen for your scalp in turn for your hair follicles to breathe to grow to flourish now my scalp clearly wasn't getting the oxygen it needed and then in turn it reduced the rate at which my hair was growing so that's number two my hair does not grow super fast all right number three is i've had a few comments where people assume that i don't know my hair type i believe i've been on youtube long enough and doing my own hair long enough to know what my hair type is you don't have to agree with me. I have many people who have similar hair texture to mine. They agree that's what the hair texture is. However, you don't have to agree with me. <laughs> My hair type is between 3C and 4A. Even, even a little bit of 4B, some parts. And I can say that because I know my hair that is on my head. Some people have said to me that I've said my hair is 4C, which I would never say because my hair is not 4C. My daughter's hair, I have implied her hair is between 4B and 4C. Her texture's changed. Her hair was a bit coarser when she was younger. It's kind of loosened a little bit. So I'd say she's in between 4A and 4B, predominantly 4B. Now, I know people who are in the four type groups feel strongly about their hair type uh, i can only talk about mine and my daughter's hair that i actually physically touch i'm not trying to offend anyone i'm just going by my own experience i've also been told a recent one which i found quite interesting my hair is not type 4 my hair is between 3a and 3c now i know my hair is not 3a I, I might even on my ends have a little sprinkling of 3B. I know I've got 3C in my hair. My hair is nowhere near a 3A. <laughs> That's one thing I do know. So this is number four. Now, this one kind of irked me. When I sat down and thought about it, I just gotta let it go. 
I have been told more than once that I have a jerry curl. If you do not know what that is, it is one, two, three. A curly perm, okay? My hair is not curly permed, but this is my natural curly texture. I've never curly permed my hair. That is it, I've never curly permed. I've never worn a jerry curl. I wear jerry curl products, i.e. S curls and curl activators. Um, yeah. I mean, I don't have a problem with people who have curly permed hair or permed hair, whatever the case may be. The reason why I don't like people not only insinuating my hair is curly perm, they don't insinuate, they tell me my hair is curly perm. The reason why it bothers me or bothered, doesn't bother me anymore. The reason why it bothered me is because if I had my hair curly permed, do you not think this is what my channel would be about? I would be proud to show you my curly perm journey. The whole point of this channel, guys, is helping people through my own experience, right? So if my hair is curly permed and there's other curly perm girls, guys, what have you out there that need my advice, then yes, I will share that. Okay, so number five. This one's kind of a bit of a story, okay? There's two, two different stories. Number five is the assumption is my hair is not all my real hair. Actually, there's three stories I can think of. Three. In fact, I'm giving you three in one point. Three in one. There you go. The first story I'm going to tell you is <laughs> when I was working years and years ago at my old job. I was sitting at my desk and my hair was heat damaged. It wasn't curly per. It wasn't so curly perm. It wasn't relaxed. It was heat damaged. So I did have curly hair, but it was bit stringy. Either way, not even stringy. I don't like using that word. It wasn't stringy. It was a bit. The curls were a bit looser. It wasn't stringy, the curls were loose, sorry, apologies. But I used to wear my hair out in a wash and go. Um, I didn't really know much about my hair, so my wash and go was stiff, it was big. I, I tried, I tried. I really wish I had a picture so I could show you. Anyway, I had a lot of hair. So my manager assumed, even though she asked me on many occasions, was it all my hair? She assumed it wasn't my hair, and then proceeds to push her hand in the back of my hair to feel for tracks. Yes. <laughs> uh, what do you say? I was young. I was young at the time. Um, now I would have definitely had eyes at the back of my head. Her hand wouldn't even got that far. And I kind of took it as a compliment. I was kind of happy that she thought that couldn't all be my hair. Yeah, so that was that story. Okay, so number two, I was picking my daughter up from nursery, putting her into the car, and I noticed a lady standing behind me. She was just staring at me. Now, mind you, I was in the car park. She's outside of the nursery car park, but she's just staring at me. So I thought maybe she thought I was somebody or I don't know. Anyway, so I get my daughter in, into the car, about to get into my side. And then she comes up to me. She comes into the car park, comes up to me. She asked me where I bought my hair. And I said, this is all my hair. She said, it can't be. <laughs> and the third one is I was sitting in my car and a lady knocked on my window to invite me to church my hair was wet it was in a wash and go and it was wet and I was rushing there it looked like a jerry curl she said to me is that all your hair and that's the question I get it's fine I said yes she said let me touch it I said no <laughs> and she went well it can't be all your hair I have no issue guys if you've seen my last video where I showed you my hair extensions I had no issue telling you this is a wig I have no issue telling you that I have wear hair extensions when I am wearing them however if I'm telling you that is my hair because that's what you've asked me and I give you the answer and you don't like the response I don't know what to say now before I go on to number six guys this is a good one this is a good one bit shocking bit irritating now I think about it but anyway before I go on to number six if you're enjoying this video don't forget to like and subscribe press the notification bell and let's just get back to this video shall we okay so number six so this is a few years after I worked in the other workplace and this is where my wash and goes were getting better but this is where I was doing wash and goes with uh hair grease prior to this I wasn't that privy to hair grease other than when I was a child so I was experimenting a little. My hair looked, well, I thought it looked fine at the time. 
but this wasn't a time that women were wearing you know this was a, a while before the natural hair movement i'd say before everyone was wearing their hair natural to work and i did feel it i did feel a bit conscious about wearing my natural hair because someone at my workplace he thought it was always funny to call me diana ross when i came in with my hair out so it just kind of made me feel edge. I just felt like people looking at me. But to be honest, it's my hair. I just didn't care. It's my hair. It's mine. I was on my lunch break, sitting at my desk, and this this uh, girl I worked with, she decided it would be best for her, without my knowledge, or before I knew she was going to do it, put her hand on my head. Well, not even on my head, in my hair. Pulls her hand out, and she goes, "Ugh, your hair's greasy, you dirty." B yep, that's what she said. So my assumption. Number six is that they assume my natural hair is dirty. No, it is not. My hair needs a lot more grease than yours because it is naturally curly and therefore the sebum from my scalp, which is the natural hair grease, cannot flow down my strands. So therefore I need to apply hair grease to my hair. No one told you to put your dirty hand in my hair. My hair is not dirty. Your hand is and also greasy. Yes, I reported her because it was in work and I didn't want to lose my job. <laughs> and i'll leave it as that anyway guys those are the six assumptions that is made about my natural hair that i've heard over the years it goes over my head there's a difference between listening to criticism and advice or listening to someone telling you what you shouldn't be doing with your hair because they say so not because it will benefit you but because they say so there's a difference i welcome criticism i welcome feedback i welcome lovely comments I welcome you to watch my next video <laughs> anyway guys so that is it for this video if you do want to see how i fixed my damaged hair you can click on this video now and have a look all right guys i will see you in the next one bye